Welcome. Recently the sun has been relatively quiet, with only 28 flares in the last week. The largest being a C8 on June 16th, but since then we've only had minor C flares. Is this a sign that we're already driving towards solar minimum? Or is this just the calm before the storm? Geospace has also been relatively quiet with just one minor geomagnetic storm on June 18th. But a lack of flares and low geomagnetic activity does not necessarily mean the sun has been quiet. However, if we look at this montage of images from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, you will see that the sun is relatively featureless compared with the way it has looked for the last few months. Let's take a look at this quantitatively. You'll see from the beginning of June there was quite a build-up in both the sunspot number and the area of sunspots, reaching a peak of 276 for the sunspot number and 1800 millionths for the sunspot area. However, in the last 10 days those quantities have declined by over a factor of 4. The reason for this is simply solar rotation. The sun seems to have developed an active side and a quiet side. And at the moment, the quiet side is facing us. So many of the major sunspot regions are now on the back side of the sun and are not due to return for a couple of weeks. But how quiet is quiet? Let's take a look at this seven day SDO movie in Helium 2304 and see what the sun has been up to when it isn't flaring. There are several events of note here. One off the northwest limb, another one in the southeast, and one near central meridian just north of the equator. We'll take a look at those three eruptions individually in a second, but usually events like that cause coronal mass ejections, and as we can see here from the Soho Lasco images, that is indeed the case. First let's take a look at the eruption off the northwest limb. This is a very slow event and never really has enough energy in it to escape the sun. By contrast, the event in the southeast is not only huge, but also relatively violent. Note the scale of the Earth in the bottom left hand corner. In the third event, you can see that the filament becomes very active and dynamic before it erupts. So is this lull in solar activity an indication that we are beginning to go towards solar minimum? Hardly. The most recent point on the smooth sunspot number which is used to determine the dates of solar minimum and solar maximum uh, is the highest so far this cycle. The two forecasting models give different results for the dates of maximum. One says that the maximum was likely in February of this year. The other one indicates that it could go on as late as early 2015. Either way, we've not seen the end of this cycle, so prepare for yet more solar storms. Bye for now. <laughs>